Hi, my name is Fumiaki Imamura. I'm a nutritional epidemiologist at Medical Research Council Epidemiology Unit of University of Cambridge. I would like to talk about our work on sweet beverage consumption and risk of type 2 diabetes. We know that consumption of sugar sweetened beverages is related to higher body weight and higher risk of type 2 diabetes. However, we do not know whether the association with diabetes is independent of obesity status. And we have the same questions for artificially sweetened beverages and fruit juice. So to help answer these questions, we did systematic review and meta-analysis of those associations in which we accounted for obesity status. For sugar sweetened beverages, we identified 17 prospective studies and we did meta-analysis for them and identified positive association of the consumption with incidence of type 2 diabetes. This indicates that even if people have the same body weight or body size, higher consumption of sugar sweetened beverages by one serving per day was associated with 13% higher risk of type 2 diabetes. We did the similar analysis for artificially sweetened beverages and fruit juice, but evidence was weaker. For artificially sweetened beverages, despite a trend toward a positive association, publication bias was indicated, and after correction for the bias, the association was no longer significant. And for fruit juice, we found a positive association only in studies with self-reported diabetes, but not in studies with objective records of diabetes. And based on these findings and other sensitivity analyses, we found little convincing evidence for artificially sweetened beverages or fruit juice. For sugar sweetened beverages, we found associations robust against different assumptions in different analyses. So assuming the observed associations to be causal, we further estimated the number of diabetes cases potentially preventable by minimizing consumption of sugar-sweetened beverages. For example, in the United States, 21 million diabetes cases were predicted to occur by 2020. And we estimated that if people consume no sugar-sweetened beverages, 4 to 13 percent of diabetes cases would be prevented. That is nearly 2 million diabetes cases. In the United Kingdom, the smaller magnitude of the impact was estimated, but still there will be nearly 100,000 diabetes cases attributable to consumption of sugar-sweetened beverages. In conclusion, sugar-sweetened beverage consumption is associated with higher incidence of type 2 diabetes, independently of obesity status, and evidence for artificially sweetened beverages or fruit juice was weaker, but nonetheless these beverages were not optimal for the primary prevention against type 2 diabetes. Finally, if we see US and UK together, more than 2 million diabetes cases are related to consumption of sugar-sweetened beverages. So we hope this study stimulates future research and future debate of policy interventions to reduce people's consumption of sugar-sweetened beverages.